You are welcome to my channel. Today we'll be solving a question on isometric projection. We have three views. In, in orthographic, we have to convert it to isometric projection. This is the plan. This one elevation and this end elevation. Now, we have been told to make this point the lowest point. If we are making this point the lowest point, that means we can see this face and this face. We cannot see this and this. Now, the best to use to solve, to convert your, your drawing will be the front elevation, which is this, or the end elevation, or this is better. Now, because you are viewing from the, I mean, you are making the lowest point, the corner by the left hand side of your drawing. This is by the left if you if you are here this is by your left this is by your right here too this is by your left and this is by your right and you are making the lowest point by the left corner so you take you project your receding lines towards the left like this project receding lines receding lines like that from all the corners that you have here you don't need to do for this one now after you have done this now you now draw this parallel line this line put it at the top like this and this line you put it here now if you look at it ordinarily we should be able to see our elevations if you look at for example if you look at it from the top from the top you are supposed to see this but from what we have here this portion is a curve so that means there's a curve somewhere here like this that goes this way and on this side it goes continuously like that now if you look at the bottom you're supposed to have the same thing so there's there will actually be another curve somewhere here like this another curve and this will be connected to it now if you look at the plan you still cannot see this because this line which is represented by this one is not getting to the end so it means the line is somewhere here somewhere here it's not getting to the end like this this is what you have and like that now if you look at it again from the plan you can get you can get this this figure you can get this but when you look at it from this place you are supposed to get this and with this drawing what it means is that this line is coming vertically downward like this most likely that's what any anybody will assume but from this it's showing that it's not coming vertically when you are viewing it from here it's not vertically coming down it is slanting so what it means is that this portion is actually slanting this way like this then don't forget you need that means you need that means it's a recess so that means it is slant this way and this one too will be here hidden line you don't need to show that so invariably what we'll have will be something like this will be let's now draw it in isometric because this is still oblique if you want to put it in isometric you start with your V like this you take this up this goes up it comes like this 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 you come this way now you have the total box so you can now put your curve part to go inside like this to come out then like this so you have something like this similarly at the bottom you have curve going like this and this will be connected to it this way then to come to this place you will have this coming to be a straight line vertical line and this one too will come down then this will be connected to this place and goes this way like that so that is what you have now the next thing is to 
connect a construct in isometric. Don't forget, you can use your question paper to do this, this rough work. Now you know how the drawing looks like. So let us commence our construction. Let us start with our letter V. We start with our V. Take this one vertically upward. Now you need to draw the longest length from here to this end. What will it be? Here to here is 50, but the radius of this arc is 25. So that means up to this place is 25. So you need to add it to this 50 to give you the total length. So that, that means we have 75. We measure 75. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. Then on this side, this other one, which is on this face, the width there is also 50. Total width is 50. So you measure 50. This is 50. And the height, what is total height? You can get your height from this. It is 35. The total height given here is 35. So you measure 35. One, two, three, five. That's our 35. Now you can draw the box. You can draw the box. It's always good to start with drawing, drawing the box. Oh, my T square is blocking that side. I mean, my the table is blocking that side. So take this here. Take this one here. So now you can measure fifty. Because here to seven, sorry, seventy five. Here to here seventy five. So you measure seventy five. This seventy five. So now you're seventy five. So take me to this side. This then automatically you just join this to this. Now we are done with the box. You can decide to start with the curve part or the easy part. I'll suggest you start with the easy part. Now here to here is 15. That is here to here is 15, and here to here is 15, as you can see here. So let us measure 15 twice. Fifteen, this is fifteen and fifteen. So take this down like this and like that. Now going inside, let us rule the line first. Take this one inside. And this one inside so you can now measure 20 it's receding inside by 20 so let us measure our 20 this is 20 so that's 20 now this one you just join you don't need to it is not an asymmetric line so you just join like this so that's how that will be so we are done with that part remaining the curve part now to draw the curve part the radius of the circle of this arc is 25 so you need a an, an isometric square which is equal whose side is equal to the diameter of the circle what's the diameter of the circle that will be radius times two that will be 50 so you need to draw 50 square in isometric 50 this 50 so 
this like that. Now you need to divide it, the two sides into two equal parts. That will be 25, 25. This is 25. Um, this is 25. So better we divide it into two equal parts. So you take this one this way, and the other one goes that way. Don't forget, you need to join the longer diagonal. This one will give us longer diagonal. This one will give us shorter diagonal. So you join the longer diagonal. And use your smaller diagonal to form letter A. Like this. And this. So you can now use this point to connect this. Connect this. You have to be very careful. Now, you come to this point, you connect this with this. Like that. Again, this one was connected from here. You just put it this way and you draw the arc like that. So, we are done with the top. Now, remaining the bottom. You need to draw the same box of side 50 at the bottom too. So, let us create the box at the bottom. Let us create the box at the bottom. This one goes this way. And that one goes that way. So now, no, 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 no. No, that is not the, the actual one. Is actually this, so I have to bring it down. Bring it down, then you, you use you draw this that way. Yeah, so with that, now you can now divide it into two equal parts 25 25. This is 25 and This is 25. So you can roll. This one. Like this. So you can join the longer diagonal like this and use. It's also possible you form letter V instead of letter A. You do it like this, this way, and that way to still give you the same thing. So you come to where the letter V is intersecting the longer diagonal, this point, and you connect this time around, you connect up to the diagonal. That way, connect up to the diagonal and stop it there. Now you come to this corner that is facing the edge of the letter V, the bottom of letter V, opposite it and you con continue your arc. You be very careful. Like that. So, this one you join with straight line, vertical line, like that. So you can now take in out the layout, like this, this, and that is here, this, and goes up, like this, this one goes up here, this one goes up, like this. And taking out this one at the bottom, everything will be thick up to the end. And then you can now take this one backward. This way, let's pass the point. 
Backward. So that is just the way to construct the simple block. And this one comes this way. So that is the block. That's the solution to the question. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something from the video, please don't hesitate to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next video.